the problem with the legal cause of action there comes from your conservative colleagues on the Supreme Court who have My said conservative that, colleagues? I'm neither a conservative nor, nor well, they a, are, a justice. Well, there are the conservative folks in this country have um, helped the Supreme Court and other courts rule that the government is not a guarantor of people's safety. So, um, you know, I I'm think, sorry, say frankly, that again. Run that the, one. the thing about Vic is that he's relentless. He just never stops. And that was really important. There were a lot of um, numbers. There's a lot of issues about numbers in the photo ID case. And Vic just got to the bottom of it. He's relentless about witnesses. He just keeps after people to get the story out. Vic is an incredibly passionate lawyer, and he's fighting for causes that are really important to him and to a lot of people. But in exercising that passion, he, I think, is mindful of two really important things that have to go with that. One is good judgment in the law, that there are things that you want to accomplish, things you may believe in, but we're lawyers and we have to make good arguments, muster facts that support our case. Even though he's fighting for causes, he's fighting for clients, and I think he's really mindful of that. His clients love him. For Vic and for the ACLU, it's all about the facts and the stories. So it's not just enough to have a plaintiff, but it has to be a person, a human being with a really interesting story. And you saw that in both the photo ID case and the gay marriage case, that in both cases you had people that you just said, this person deserves a break. I think Vic's an everyday person, and so he can connect with all the people who are maybe having their first interaction with the legal system, that who maybe don't have confidence that the system as a whole is going to work itself on their behalf. The fact that he was doing both simultaneously is extraordinary. We were on trial for three weeks, and at the same time they were preparing the gay marriage complaint. Now I know that there are other people at the ACLU who worked on that complaint too, but the fact that he was even involved in both at the same time just showed his amazing energy. The cases that Vic is being honored for this year, voter ID, um, same-sex marriage, um, are um, just part of a long run of doing the coolest cases you could possibly do. There's many years where Vic could be considered for Lawyer of the Year when he worked on intelligent design with us, when he worked on the immigration case in Hazleton. He is fighting for hugely important causes and really exciting cases that are a lot of fun to litigate.